What's up, guys? I'm Youngster's Game, and I'm back with Pokemon Sun Part 25. And oh, I have a cough. <coughs> I have something like stuck my throat. No, I don't want to say, but just do that. Um, so what was I gonna say? Um, this time I can almost assure you that we're gonna battle uh, Olivia. We've been thinking we we're gonna do that for the past few times, but we haven't. Now I, th I think it's finally time. It's finally something that should happen. This is already like here, and she said she has a shop in this town, which is Royal Battle Heart. So I don't know. Uh, see, he's even mentioned the first guy we talked to in this episode is mentioning Olivia. So. It's probably, uh, it's, he's just, this guy's just shitting on the rock type. Um, but yeah, like, the first guy we even talked to is talking about Olivia, so I would imagine we're gonna battle her this time. And this music is weird. Not what I would expect for this tower. It's got, like, the weird peeps in the back and, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. But, uh, I have to cough one second. Let me turn my mic off. Okay, so opposite the town, you can find Memorial Hill and the Ruins of Life. You can feel the presence of the ancient kings of Alola there. Yep, we were there last time, I know. I guess as now, is it the... Do we have a democracy in Alola now? I guess, I don't know. A town that welcomes the sea breeze. Wait, can I... Hey! Oh, okay. You got nothing to tell me. Nothing important. Can't jump down there. Uh, let's go in this house then. See what's going on. I'm sure that, that Alola sign is just right outside this random house. Oh, can we get a new fishing rod? Because the one we have now sucks. Kind of lend, lend a hand me. I'll give you dice us with your, this with your fury snipes. So. I say I'm cutting vegetables and stuff. That hubby, <laughs> ooh, that hubby of mine. He's good at fishing up pearls and hard skills, all right. But he doesn't have a lick of luck when it comes to Pokemon. Well, honey, I heard you can fish up some rather rare finds if you cast your line over piles of rocks that have bubble. Oh, they have to have bubbles in order to get Pokemon. Oh, I guess that makes sense because we we've just been doing every single rock thing we find. But still. Like, we had to have at least found a few with actual bubbles, and we still only found Magikarp. Maybe that just makes us actually have Pokemon, but even once Pokemon still Magikarp. Who are you, mister? Are you one of Sissy's friends? It's a stranger. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, I'm just like, that's true. I'm just like a random kid who's just running into these little girls' house. Actually, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Nothing else for us in here. It's just these people who are... Can't check the chat. Just, just people. We're like, okay, what are you doing in my house? Leave. And I would check that uh, TV, but I would imagine it would just be Malasada. Can't check nothing there. All this brrrr, like, I hate that brrrr sound with the new, like, with how the new, like, graphics is and, like, how running around world, like, how running around world, it's, like, not a grid anymore. I feel like the brrrr is so unnecessary, but it's still, still is here. Wow, Olivia's store is actually way more chic than I would have expected. I know she's, like, the Alan Kuhn and all, but she seems like such a normal person, you know? Was this her store, then? It must be. It's got a hammer on the front. I don't know what that means. There's a pro pass. So no pass. No pass. You cannot pass. You're not a nose pass. You're a pro pass. Skimmer, Olivia here. This is Probo Pass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a oh come on, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life, past Memorial Hill. When you can I was just there! I was literally just there. Are you kidding me? I have to go back? That's so annoying. Come on, I was, I was just there. Can I move? It's not letting me move. Pass. That's for me. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay. We literally we just went over there. I don't, I don't know why I have to go back there. It's pretty annoying. What, what do you sell at this shop, anyway? Jewelry. Jewelry. Um, it's pronounced jewelry, but it really should be jewelry. I don't know. Uh, Firestone. Firestone? Thunderstone? Watch I don't. We don't need any of these, I don't think. So, no, we can do that. We should probably sell stuff, though. Like, we, I feel like we have a bunch of items that, uh, can be sold. We haven't sold, like, like nuggets and pearls and stuff. So let's do that. Let's start. Oh, wait. Go here to the item section. Start all the way to the top. We got. Oops, not Pokeball. Pokeball, Pink Roll, Escape, uh, Tiny Mushroom. Okay, so no, that's for collectors, but not anyone. We got Big Mushroom. Nope, that's for collectors, right? Yeah, but like, we can get more money from collectors than. Even though it's 2,500 that we can get, we can still get more money from collectors, I think. Nugget, here we go. Nice. Raking in the dough. Star piece. Nice. This was even more than nuggets. Wow. Like, we got even more than nuggets for them. Still at a low price for shops? I mean, still 1,500. Not bad. Um. <laughs> Emulet Club. That'd be a dumb thing to sell. Well, I mean, we probably get the, the luck incense for less, but. Pearl. That's worth three pearls. Nice. Ooh, big pearl. Those cost 4,000. Nice. Look at all this money we have. We just had 20,000. Now we're selling all our stuff. We got 
or 64,000. And I'm only selling stuff that we literally have no use for other than selling in the shops. So, not too bad. Let's see, what else we got here? We got some people. Those jewels are amazing. Just, like, what are all these jewels? There's apparently all these jewels here. <laughs> what? Are you sure? Olivia still doesn't have a boyfriend. Look, wait, there's all these, like, jewels here. None of these look like the stones that were available to us. Are we just not allowed to buy that other stuff? Okay. It seems like we're gonna have to go back to the ruins of life, which we were just at. But we, we've already battled all the trainers there, so it shouldn't be a big deal. This is the only shop we haven't gone in yet. And then we have to go all the way up to the top there and see what's going on there. Actually, no, we can just go straight to the ruins of life, to be honest. Um, okay. I wonder if this, we can do anything here. Like, can we buy anything? I don't think so. I love how we just, like, walk into random people who are eating at the restaurant. And then, uh, and they just, like, talk to us. Like, oh, hello. Here's one random quote. Oh, what does this do? Sure. What is this? I'll, I'll take the meat Z set. Take, sure, I'll take this. I'll take the special Z set. Okay. What is this? Like, why? What is. I still don't understand the canonical reason for why they're called Z moves. Can they explain that? Like, really, I don't get any reason why they're called Z moves. Do you have to do with Zygarde? Like, I don't think so. The thick soup is sour, and the fish fillet is full of little bones. Ew. Yeah. Patty is too moist, and leaves sticky juices dripping down your chin. Whatever the mysterious grayish thing is on the side, it doesn't taste of anything. Oh, it's no good. You can't eat another bite. Oh, jeez. I thought I would like that. Okay. What was the part of that? That, that didn't do anything? Oh, okay. I guess it's the place where you buy hard scales if you really want to. Um, and what's up here? Second floor dining? Is this one? Is that what this is? Oh, I guess not. Kathy Kiawe gave me this magmar. He just gave you the magmar. <laughs> magmar. That's uh, I don't want it to be because obviously you know it's, it's just Milesada. And then we can go in here. And we can see what we got. I'm um, just a bed. Can't lay on it though. There's such weird music in this town. So uh, I don't expect. There's a faint smell of spices. Or sorry, spices, sauces, and other fragrant things. Okay. To know. Let's go down here. Let's uh, let's just go battle Olivia. I'm tired of putting this off. We've been like saying we're gonna battle Olivia for like four episodes, I feel like. So let's just go do it. Olivia! Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Seriously, where are you? Where are you at? Oh, can't really Toro scan right here. Toros run up ledges? Like why not? It'd be nice if there was a Pokemon that can run up ledges, like one of the ride Pokemon. That'd be awesome. Um, but let's, uh... I don't really feel like running into any more wild Pokemon. So let's just use our Repel. We got Super Repel. I don't want to use that. I'll use a regular Repel, because I feel like it won't be that much grass. It's a bit. We only have one Super Repel, one Max Repel, and one regular Repel. Now we have zero regular Repel, so... Oh. Was well, not expecting this. Oh, so they are against each other. I was kind of... Okay. Hmm. Team Skull, get back that Pokemon. No. Don't give me trouble. I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich. And we won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're going to have to take it. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. President? Oh, president of the A Foundation. That's what you say, chief. But you don't lift a finger. Why? I'm the A Foundation's last line of defense. What would become to the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Ah, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my steed, child, and rout these teams called ruffians. I'll bestow honor upon you if you. Wow, I hate this person so much. They're just making. They're not even defending. They're just like making me do it, even though they're saying they're the ones who protect Pokemon from Team Skull. So yeah, still not getting a great impression from the Eighth Foundation guys, but eh. you ready? Cause I was born ready, yo. Man, you should see me when I'm doing the Team Skull. I'm just like waving around my arms like crazy. It's so fun. But like, uh, man, I wish I had like a webcam or something set up just for the Team Skull segments. You are challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Oh, I only face it one at a time. I was hoping I was. Or, not really, hold on. I guess hoping. I was thinking it'd be a double battle. Uh, I don't really have a preference, I guess. Actually, no. I was kind of hoping for a double battle. And I'm a really big fan of Two Cannon. He's like really growing on me. Like when I first like sort of saw him like on Google Images, and I quickly scroll up like, oh shoot, darn it. Uh, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I love that sign. And that now, but now using it is awesome. Two Cannon is a beast. It's got an awesome move too. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Beak Blast. Just like listen to that move. Beak Blast. 
That's like, that's an amazing move. It's 100 power, 100 accuracy. That's already as good as Earthquake, except it's a flying type move. Ooh, wow, knockoff. Don't forget Bite then. Um, but then it's also can burn a Pokemon if they attack you before you attack and then make physical contact. And if a Pokemon makes physical contact, it's probably an attacker. So burn would help a lot. That loss was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. I don't know why they can't just catch Wild Slowpoke. Like, is that a Wild Slowpoke or is that so? I don't know. And if it is Wild Slowpoke, why are they not allowed to take it? And because they're like evil and people know they're gonna cut the sails off or tails off. Like, can people? Can the police? The police department's like right up there. Can they just arrest them? Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly out astounding. Once you have finished your trial, come to the Hano. Whoa, voice crack. Sorry. Come to the Hano Grand Resort, and I'll take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad there are not yet nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. If you owe me, do something about it. Okay. Call it outskirts. I'm going to repel this now until we uh, get through all this grass. Alright, never mind. There wasn't even that much grass to run through anyway. Now we're here. Back up where the ruins of life are. But we didn't even get up there. And now, who is this? What's her name again? Plumeria, I think is her name. So, you're the one Gladion was talking about. Hmm. <laughs> you don't look like anything special to me. Uh, I don't know if that's a good voice for her. Source has an interesting design. I'm Plumeria. Actually, that's probably better. I help, I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? Don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You pick on my cute dumb brothers and sisters. It's really annoying me. I'm not picking on them. They're like stealing Pokemon. I'm pr pr protecting those Pokemon, whatever. This better have a cool base drop, too. But ready, I'm ready for the cool base drop. It's a new theme. Ready? Let's hear it. Not that much. I hope the like whatever like the the real leader of Team Skull is, has like an awesome base drop. Is this this music kind of like in the background? Like, eh. Like, I wish this music was more epic. You know, whatever. Oh, uh, flying type versus a uh, fighting type. I don't know if it's a great matchup, but you know, we got Rock Tomb. So I need to confuse right. Wasn't expecting, I was expecting like air cutter. But confused right. Okay. I feel like we played this game. This is a long game. We played this game so much, and our Pokemon are still like in the high 20s. Like, wouldn't. Like, I would expect in other games to be like at least in like 30s right now. No, 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 no. Don't hit yourself with again. What? Did I seriously click power up punch? Oh my gosh, did I actually- I did not mean to the power punch, I can assure you of that, and I'll just waste it up. Damn it. I, I, I didn't want to use power punch. I wanted to use rock tomb, I don't- like, why would I even- I guess I just clicked the wrong move, I don't know. But, anyway. Go, Mr. Miyashi! I don't know why I always use that voice from- I say Mr. I said Mr., but, I, it's just fun. It's not something I've been doing a lot, I've just been using like, kind of random voices, but you know, I like to do that. It's a fun thing. And also, like, I'm mass recording these, so I don't always have as much stuff to talk about, you know? But, uh... The Ram doesn't look very excited in the back. She's just, like, you know, chilling. I mean, actually, she's doing well. She already took out one of my Pokemon. Now she confused this one, too. But, uh... A lot of confusion in these past few episodes. Critical hit. Nice shot. I don't know if that mattered, but I probably did. I don't think that would have been an Oko otherwise. Maybe it would have. Who knows? Well, it's 28 now. This would be actually a good Pokemon. Oh, and it's got Salandite. We'll stay. Oh, why did I stay in? I'm confused. Silly me. Oh well, I'll stay in anyway. I'll just use Scald. No, there's Scald. Why not? Oh. See. Oh well, that's fine. That's not gonna last long enough to matter anyway. This battle. I don't think I'm not even gonna get, one, get hit uh, in, in, with my poison once. Why am I stuttering so much today? Like I can't talk at all. This is how I'm usually like. I don't know. Maybe I'm just because I'm tired. I'm kind of dehydrated too. I haven't drank much water yet uh, today. And I forgot to drink water in between episodes. Like I said, I was gonna. I'm just gonna have a sip right now. Hope you guys don't mind. Maybe I should turn my mic up when I do that. Oh, anyway. <laughs> You're pretty strong. I'll give you that. I'll mess with anyone in Team Skull again. And I'll show you how serious I can get. And somehow my goal best will be just like higher levels, which is me being serious. But like, you know, like, I can't really change levels on the fly. So I, I think I'm being serious now. Anyway, I don't know. 
I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, not important. Let's go battle Olivia now. I hope she heals us beforehand, but in case she doesn't. Um, I'll put a... I want to use Eric Power. I'll, even though... Oh, shoot. She uses rock types, and our fighting type is uh, fainted, and our water type is poisoned. But you know what? It's okay. She'll probably heal, heal us. And if not, we can handle it. I'll start off with uh, Eric Pecker, even though he's a flying type, because, you know, we can use a fighting type moves. And also, I just really like two cannon. Skamor! Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. What an idiot. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now I've got to go. The Master Royal has a match. And there's no way that I'm missing it. That Master Royal. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? Are you serious? You're his wife. I think, I think you know. Whatever. I don't like that voice I've been doing for her. That's a bad, that's a stupid voice. I'm going to stop that, I think. I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at that poor two cannon. He's on full health, Lily. I don't know what you're saying. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Heal, heal all my Pokemon. Thank you. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. <laughs> you... I know you tried to drag me along to the Ruins of Conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? It's like antenna arm things are like all pulsing around. Just think what would have happened to you if Skamor hadn't been there back then. Because for some reason you can't fight a bunch of Spiro. Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Oh, yes. My name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant, and this is Skamor. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Skamor, thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. Alola, that's probably better. Um, oh, so I'm behind her right here, not going to go in the uh, place or anything. Alright then, you completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me! Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet, Anaka. I'd love to. I'll start off with a uh, Ironpacker. That's fine. Oh, she has a lot of Pokemon. Great. We're going to give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Ooh, I hope she has Rock Rock's Evolution. One of them, at least. Well, I think it's actually one Pokemon, just different forms. I'm not sure, though. Uh, which shots by Island Kahuna Olivia? Nose Pass. Still only three Pokemon. Be high level, please. At least like 28. Not higher. 26. Eh. Alright, Eric Pecker. Use Brick Break. Oh, not even half. That's a shame. I thought of one th I saw one thing online that said that they were using only the same amount of Pokemon as like whatever whoever they were going against had to make it like more fair. So maybe I should do that. But I mean, I don't know. Like, that's kind of like. Mm. I just like play the game as is. But I don't get. I wish they had more Pokemon always for the trainers. Come on, don't hurt suck paralysis again. Just use Brick Break, please. Good job. Darn. All right, Iron Packer, This is the last one. Just don't get, don't get hurt in paralysis. Don't uh, don't be fully paralyzed here. Just get this move off. Oh, never mind. This probably won't be the last one. Sorry. I didn't realize this was an easy super potion. Like, I could just use Paralyzer, but I'm still not a fan of here. Like, I don't know. I just don't love to. The Paralyzer actually, like, flashes in this stuff just to be permanently there. So I'm just saying, come on, Arcrack, get thrown off. You can do it. Yes. And that's perfectly how it should be, because I used four moves, and one of them was Paralyzer. And, like, Paralyze is a 25% chance, so that all makes sense. Nice job, Arcrack. Lycan Rock! Yay! That's Rock Rock's evolution. Um, so I'll use Otis. No, I'll use Jockus. I guess it's the dark type one. Eric Pecker, switch out. Go. Jack. At least I think it's the dark type. I, I think the other form is a dark type. It's rock and dark. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. Yeah, I think that's a dark type, right? It's rock and dark. It's just rock. I don't know. I think it's rock dark. Let's see if Jockus can you do the rest of this battle. Jockus, use. Pe oh, no. Uh oh. Is that a dark move or is that a rock sea move? I'm a fighting type, so that shouldn't do much. Continental Crush. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. That that should kill me. Like my jockets should be dead. You should not be able to ever play do Pokemon battles. Okay, that I should have used quickly. So I'm not gonna outspeed him. He's probably just gonna kill me this turn. I'll try to use Rick now if I can get him. Oh wow, never mind. Rockthrow wouldn't even kill me anyway, so. Nice. Now we're at plus one attack for whatever our next Pokemon is. Hopefully we can outspeed it. I don't know. If we, I don't, we probably won't. But who knows? Rock types aren't usually that fast. I like rocks fly pretty fast. That's cool. I like that there's a faster rock type. At least I, I'm assuming it's fast. I hope it is. Screech. Not a bad. Oh, Eric Pecker wants to know Screech. You know what? Not a bad move, but. I don't really want to, mm. Yeah, I'll forget Pluck. We have no really need for Pluck now that we have uh, Beak Blast. So I'll, keep, I'll forget Pluck, I'll learn Screech. Nice. Boldor. Boldor. That's the evolution of Rock and Roll, right? So that's not any Pokemon. I, don't, I think it is, right? Yeah, 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 that's what that is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, are we going to see any Pokemon? No, I don't think so. Although we've never seen Lycan Rock yet. Um, but I mean, like. Obviously, we've seen it in the official trailers. I wish the official trailers really didn't. I wish. I think they revealed too much. Um, that'd be so much more just like seeing these always Pokemon for the first time. That'd be awesome. Like, I was even considering going in blind, but then I want. I decided I wanted to cover all the news on my channel, and that was a good idea because that got me a lot of new subscribers. So, by the way, I'm guessing most of you who are watching this like discovered my channel with those Pokemon Sun Moon news videos. Tell me. The, I'm curious. Tell me in the comments below what you discovered my channel by. Um, and I'll just use Otis to finish this off. I could use cool to have some experience, but eh, I'll just use Otis. Otis, use Razor Leaf now. Whoosh. Awesome. I wish Giga Life and Voldor were Rock Bug. I think they would be cool because they kind of look like spiders and they got those little feet. I think Rock Bug would be cool typing. Oh, does even a Rock Bug exist? Not that I can think of. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. You guys are the best! Here, Rock Type Z Crystal. This the Rocky MZ is all yours. Why is it to be called a Rocky MZ? Why can't it just be called a Rocky M? Or just a Rock Z? Like, what would the individual Rocky M be? Like, is there a Rocky M A? Is there a Rocky M B? I, I don't know. That's weird. Like, what, why do you need to specify with Z? Why can't it just be called Rocky M? Seems kind of weird. But now we got our second Grand Trial complete. So we're halfway through this island challenge. The rock type Z power. You have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hit movement is crucial. I cannot settle on a voice for Olivia. I'm probably like not even gonna see that much in the rest of the game. That is a cool animation. Use it well. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess up to... Oh, wow, that's... Okay. <laughs> so nothing like me at all. You're not physically strong, I guess. I guess opposites really do attract. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but... Why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. Why would you come here anyway? I guess I can go in there. I tried earlier. Uh, he's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to his home. I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I'll find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. So that's a common theme. Like, even with Tapu Koko, they're like, it's called the guardian, but it doesn't save people that much, because like, when it, it saved me, they were like, wow, that's so surprising, even though it's called the guardian. So, that's kind of weird, but, uh, regular Pokemon normally avoid the Guardians at all costs. That's weird. Unless they are strong enough to face the top of themselves, that is. Phew? Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back down to- I'll, I'll take you back down, Lily. Wait, what can't be right? Did she, like, think something to herself and say that can't be right? Or is, like, it can't be right that Pokemon avoid the top of Must have been something she was thinking to herself. Anyway, doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Well, thanks. No, that wasn't very far. I thought you were going to take us all the way back to the town, but, uh... Oh! Aw? I don't even know what that means. Aw? I don't know how to pronounce that. You're from... You're Kakuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Iki Town. I, you've got to let me babble you. 
Oh, hey, Skamor. Guess what? This weird guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up with my grandchild here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Skamor, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charge should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The, the Aether Foundation? See, she's scared of it, see? I know, they're, and she was with him like three months ago. But she didn't tell us about that in her story. Uh, um, I, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how house battle goes, too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you. So I think she didn't tell us her whole story. And I'm guessing she didn't even tell Kukui the whole story. So maybe instead of just finding Nebby, maybe she stole it from the Aether Foundation, who was, like, abusing it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I may be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise up Brianna and the rest of my team do their best. We're just Hal, right? What's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hal can do. I mean, Olivia's better than Hala, so if he can beat Hala... I mean, how? I mean, Olivia. Jeez, she should be able to beat, uh, Hala. So we should go back and back again. Where's the right one? This is the right one. Charizard. I, like, have each one set to a different arrow, and I forget which one is each. So let's go to, uh, Dimensional Research Lab. Where is that? What? Why is it not... Where's the Dimensional Research Lab on the map? Whatever, I'll fight it. I guess it's not. I can't fly to it. I can probably just, just fly to the city. And I'll make my way. Oh, no, 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 Where's the town we just were in? Kinda lost. I can't find it on the map anywhere. Where is it? I have no idea. I can find a Route 8. I'll just do that, I guess. Because that's close to the town, I know. No, then I still have to go through all the Diggles Kate. No. I have no idea. I'm lost. I have no idea how- actually, okay, let's look at the town. This is not the right place. I went the wrong place. Although, actually, I guess I should go back to the- Oh, no, never mind. I already did that. Um, let me use Rotom. Rotom. I like to- Stop talking, Rotom. He's like saying something on the bottom screen. Okay, let's check the map without fly. Paniola Town. Is it here? Oh, it's all the way on the bottom. It's in the bottom left. Uh, look, I'll show you on the. I'll show you down here. It's all the way down there. So we're gonna let's fly back over there then. I went to completely wrong place. Wow. It's kind of hard navigating these islands. There's like no routes or anything like there are in traditional games and like old Pokemon games. Like you know, like there would just be like rat and there's like there's routes. And there's just like spaces in between everything where there's just nothing. But now like there's literally every part of the map is like there's something. So it's kind of kind of weird. But it's like. It's, Cool. It's just hard to navigate. It's just hard to get used to, I guess. Because I've been playing Pokemon for so many years differently. I must heal, though. That's probably a good idea. I'm not. I, whoa, wait. I was going to try to start singing. If not, I'm like, oh, wait. It's going to stop. I'm not. I don't, I don't like the Pokemon Star music as much as I like uh, the old, other ones. Oh, the repellent effect wore off. Yeah, now that matters. Um. Uh, it sounds like it should like Pokemon Star Night, but I think isn't oh what well, is Night? Maybe that is Pokemon Star Night, but isn't it same in the same in the day? I don't know. I don't really get the difference between Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like what's the, like? What do you mean it takes place twelve hours apart? Like why is it always night when I play? I feel like. Ooh, actually, maybe it's because my internal clock is screwed up. I'm pretty much always playing at night. You know, I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna stop playing for a second. But I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna check my internal clock, and I'm, I'm just gonna change it twelve hours to see if that changes the day. Cause I'm kind of confused how this works. So, yeah, so, you guys may realize that, oh, here's a Zygarde thing, um, why, why don't the Pikachu, like, interact with it, like, why are they just standing next to it, that's weird. Um, you may realize that, like, it's always night when I play, which I sort of just realized. The thing is, this DS is broken that I use, um, I never take it around with me, um, like, the RNL, RNL buttons are broken, sometimes if I close it hard enough, it'll just turn off, if I tap, tap it, I just, like, hit, like, the bottom part of the DS, if I just hit it, it could turn off, and also, the internal clock is just screwed up, it always resets to 1, 1, Midnight at like 2016. So, uh, oh wow, 
You're just giving us a Pikachu's like a Pikachu exclusive team move. That's cool. Um. Oh wow. Steel two guys with all tackle too. I don't think. Oh, and an Evil Light. That's nice. That Pokemon looks bigger than the others. Can she any of our Pokemon's team moves? Uh, uh, Volt tackle or is that just Pikachu exclusive move? Oh, it's just for Pikachu. Okay. Um, but anyway, so yeah, like, we've been playing this game mostly at night, and I want to play the game in the day. So I like, it's beautiful sun. That's why I got Pokemon Sun. Because I thought that Pokemon Sun only took place in day, and Moon only took place at night. But I think that really, it's just 12 hours apart. So, like, I think if you play Pokemon Moon at night, it'll be day. And if you play Pokemon Sun day, it'll be night or something. I'm not really sure. Because it's still night and day in this. But, like, it's always been night, I feel like, for us. That's because my internal clock is screwed up. So, uh, I wanted to play it in day. Because we've been playing it mostly at night. So that's why I just changed it. But yeah, I went up there because I came back here because we hadn't explored this area yet. And then also, and there's nothing else over here because there's a fence in the way. So, that's pretty much it. So, now we can fly. There's just that one girl who was Pikachu. I mean, hey, we would have missed out on the Pikachu Neum, whatever it's called. Picanium, maybe? What's it called? I don't know. Pikachu Neum? I don't know. Whatever. The Pikachu Z, Z Zone. Even though, I wonder if that works with Raichu. Um, I think, I wonder if it only works with Voltac also or if it works with any electric type. But, uh, whatever. We don't, we don't even have a Pikachu, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's run on over to where that guy, annoying guy with the Stoutland was before. We can finally go there now. It's funny how they actually made the barriers to ride Pokemon themselves, even though ride Pokemon are supposed to be what prevents, like, like lets you get by the barriers. I have my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I'd find something new to enjoy if I went through the Iron Challenge once again. Yeah, that's interesting. That'd be cool if adults were doing the Iron Challenge. It'd be cool if there were a bunch of other people doing the Iron Challenge at the same time, like me and how. Take me somewhere. That power, do you think it's wild? Does it belong to someone at the hotel? I could not tell you. I think it belongs to someone at the hotel. That's my prediction. Like, what if someone just tried to catch it not knowing it? Like, like it must be a problem that happens in the Pokemon universe. Like, it's supposed to Pokemon in the grass and you catch it, but then the guy's like, hey, that was actually my Pokemon, it just got away or something. Like, it was like having fun, it was just playing. Alola is so, Alola is so interesting because it has all these different architectural styles. Because there's so many people coming here from all over. I like that. Do, 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 do. Shoo shoo. Um, I heard Pikachu. I did not hear a Pika shoo shoo. Master Chooser, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you're a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu at once. Oh, I guess that's a famous Pikachu? Okay. Hano Beach. There's this guy in the stupid salad. This guy's. He's looking for all these hidden items, and he can't even find a Zygarde cube. I mean, a Zygarde cell. He's not even moving. The only people you'll find swimming in the water here are Pokemon trainers. Be careful out there. Ooh, we can go surf around and explore. Yay. The only reason I can luxuriate like this now is thanks to the work I do here on this beach. If you're interested in some part-time work, why don't you try chucking some Pikachu? Okay. Oh, I remember this. This was shown off um, in like a little clip before the game came out. What's this? We haven't seen any Pikachu in the wild yet, though. Or in battle. What? Would you rather have had the soda pop that I already started drinking? Glistening sweat. Slippery goo. The perfect tune that keeps Hano Beach going. Pikachu Mugu Chuckers are desperately needed. Oh, won't you become a Pikachu Mugu Chucker? What's that? One of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spots for our guests. But Pikachu Mugu is something that's up on our beach on this RC. I don't know why they do it, but we can't just leave them there. They shrivel up on land, and that's not, a, not all. Our guests get grossed out seeing them and sometimes even get hurt stepping on them. So we end up with no choice but to chuck those poor Pukumuku back into the sea. I'll explain the job to you. It's pretty easy. Step 1. Catch Pukumuku. Step 2. Throw the Pukumuku back into the sea. Step 3. Report back to me once every last Pukumuku on the beach is returned to the sea. What do you say? You got what it takes to be a Pukumuku trucker? Yes. I can still see 6 left on the sand. I assume he's going to pay me, right? Can I get the Zygarde? Can, let's, can we investigate our Zygarde cube and like... Oh, never mind. I was about to be like, can we like... Investigate our cube, see how many we have, and like see if we can talk to these people. And then now he actually just said, he wants to talk to me. Okay. He collected 10% so far. If you'd like to know what this number means, please come to Aether Base on Route 16 on Ula Ula Island. Oh, so Zygarde 10% form. I'm pretty sure that's the dog thing, right? Wow, I really want to go there now. Can we get one of those Zygarde dog things now? I really, even, oh my gosh, I really want to go there. I, I really want to go now to, but we can't, we're not even on Ula Ula Island yet. Found a Pukumuku. But it's still in the water. Is that even. Whatever. I, I, I probably only checked like a few feet of it. What's this? 
Oh, I guess I find wild Pokemon. Oh, we're gonna get a Sandy Ghast. Right? Right, right, right. Sandy Ghast. Yes. It's a ground and ghost type. Cool typing. I mean, the only other Pokemon to have it is like Golem and Golurk. Not Golem. That's like, not Golem. That's like, that's the Judo evolution. Uh, Golurk and Golit. Is that what it's called? I think. So I'll just do the uh, shoot. I don't think I use will kill this thing. I mean, I'll try using Beak Blast, but I think that will kill it. Let's see. Yep, okay. Well, I need to use another Pokemon then. That's cool, that Pokemon's fainting animation. It, like, sinks into the sand. I'll use, uh... What should I use? I'll use... Mr. Miyashi? No, that was super effective. Oh, Otis has Shadow Claw, super effective. I'll use Pluck with Otis. I don't think that will kill it. That could... I don't know. Hopefully not. We'll see. Because B-Class has a lot more power than Pluck. I'm gonna throw you back into the sea. Sea, like Connor. Sea on a war. Yeah. A lot of people spell their Connors with two N's. Which is not the better way. Sea on a war is the way to go. That's my name, by the way, in case you all weren't sure. Ooh, a Staryu. I was expecting that to be just another uh, Sandy Gas. But I will gladly catch this thing. I like Staryu a lot. Star me. So, hopefully I don't kill you with a Pluck. Oh, are you a Shadow Claw? I think. Oh no, you're not a ghost type yet, so I should be Shadow Claw. Because Shadow Claw wouldn't even be super effective. I'm hungry. I need to get some uh, food. Let's use some Pluck. Oh, darn. Taking out everything. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should just cool. Cool shouldn't be taking anything out. Well, maybe I'll use a. What move did I teach? Does Jacka still have Rock Doom? I think. No, I'll use a like, Grimer and I'll use like Poison Fang, I guess. Will that kill the Sandy Gas? I don't think so. What's this? Stardust, nice. Just sitting there in the sand. I can barely even see it. Come on, give me a Sandy Gas. Sandy Gas, Sandy Gas, Sandy Gas, Sandy Gas, Sandy Gas, Sandy Gas. I'm gonna catch you. Yes, I'm gonna catch you. I'll catch you. Last my screen flickering again. Stop it, please. Mm, okay. Oh, Quizman is not very effective. I forgot about that. I can use knock off. Maybe that won't. No, that would probably kill it. Oh, well, Poison Fang, how much damage will this do? Wow, almost done. And that, if it only did that much, knock off should not kill it. Let's see. Let's go, knock off. I stand correct. Why? Why did that do so little? Maybe, does, is poison, does, is four times, is poison not effective against ground and ghost? Is that why? Knock off, I don't know. I don't know what to use to catch one of these things. But what do I use to weaken it? Let's look at all our Pokemon summaries. We got, uh, Otis. It's like, we got, uh, Mishmiyashi. Grimer. None of these moves, are like, okay, I guess cool is the only, no, we can use jackets with the rock tomb, or we can use cool, which just hits, we'll use cool, I guess. Although he's like not that strong, so like maybe no, but he's still like a one level higher than the Sandy Gas we saw. So I might actually still do a good amount. Butter, 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 bum, 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 bum. I found a star. You, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, oh well. Oh, now Water Titan's gonna be good against me. Uh, -da 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 -ba. Whatever. I'll just use Magnet anyway. I still want to catch it. Nice, smack to eight. We should do a good amount of damage. Nice, that was good. Uh oh, I'm scared. Please don't do that much. Don't kill Cole. No! You killed Cool! You bastard! Uh, use next Pokemon. Go, Mr. Miyashi! Take the skull, uh, the bubble beam. Don't even take, don't take that much damage from it. Oh, and actually, um, if we capture this, then Mr. Miyashi might go to level 29, so that'll be good. Let's use our Great Ball. It's very great, this ball. Go! What should I name this? I already have a Star Me, an X and Y, that is actually a competitive Star Me, named Patrick, and then there's like the little star emoji next to it. Like, you know, this little like emoji, they're not emojis, so like, they don't like emojis, and you can use them to name your Pokemon. Oh, and then this Star Me, uh, what's it called? Starfy. You know, like the legendary Starfy? Limit that. It's the video game. It's on the Nintendo DS. 
There's a bunch more, but they were only released in Japan. Only one of them was released in, uh, America. And Starfy, you know, he's an assist trophy in Smash, also. Like, so I guess Pokemon we see in the overworld don't get registered in a Pokedex, because I know we've seen a Starmie in the overworld, but it's not in our Pokedex. Let's name it Starfy. Or should we just... We'll use the... Are there, like, the emojis in this? There aren't. There are no more emojis. So I can't... Okay, that's sad. So I'll just name it... I'll name it, a uh, Star... Fee. There we go. Bump, bump, bump. Send it to a box. We don't need to use Starfy. When he has Starbucks dust on him, that's nice. Just we just robbed this guy with Stardust. I'm sorry. Oh, and we got another item here, Star Piece. Wow. Let's explore this uh, ocean a little bit before the end of this this episode. Oops, wrong Pokemon. No, not Char. Oh my gosh. I clicked Charizard at that time. No, I clicked the wrong Pokemon. Left is Lapras. Left for Lapras. We gotta remember that. We got to remember that. It's not even. Oh. oh. I didn't expect anything to come running at me. What is it? Um, um, tentacle. We haven't seen one of those yet in this game. I'm actually using a Tentacruel in my Emerald playthrough that I have been got going on for a long time. I think I have like seven matches in it, maybe six. Um, I'll use Brick Break. That shouldn't kill, I don't think. It's not very effective. Wow, that's it. Nine, nine and a half. Good. So we can use one more. Uh-oh. That's a good move. Watch. The next one's going to do so much more damage. But it's fine, because it still won't do that much. Because even the first one didn't do that much. Um, don't kill? Good. Good job. If you were a football player, you would be doing an excellent job. You gotta wrap and drive your feet. But you know what? I don't care, because I'm gonna... That's the drive of the feet. Good job. Um, uh, but I'll cash you. Wow, wraps actually feel like doing a lot of damage. Like, all the times we've been... Did rap get a buff? Like, I feel like all this, the times after rap hits us, like, again... Oh, come on. I feel like whenever rap hits us again... I'm just gonna run. I can't escape. Oh, wow, at least it gives me another chance. I would use Beak Blast, but the thing is, what if the other tentacle attacks me and makes contact with me? Then we'll get burned. Actually, I'm faster. I wasn't saying that won't happen. Am I not faster? Really? Maybe that move does go second automatically. I don't know. Dun. 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 I'm really not sure. Oh, I didn't use a contact move anyway. I could have sworn it went first against another thing. Maybe I'm just slower than tentacle? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, what happened earlier if I attacked first, or if they had to go attack first? Uh, yawning. Like, I feel like I would be faster. Like, look at the level I am. Look at the level that is. It's not even evolved at all. No, not for me wrong. Great ball. Go for it. Great ball. Bum. Bum. Uh, oh, my screen's flickering again. Gotta get that. Stop happening. Okay, so we caught ourselves tentative cool. I like the little, nice little background guy here. I mean, apparently we're in the water, but it doesn't show that much. But there doesn't seem to be a sand. There seems, there seems to be a sand bar right here, but when we go back to surfing, we'll be on a Lapras, and I don't think there'll be a sand bar. But, uh. Nice. They can be found lying dehydrated on beaches, but they are often still alive. And so tomorrow, they will revive. I don't know why I should name him. Like, a good. Like, he's reminded me of a football player, so, like, I can just. Name him after a football player, but like who? Like cool. Tenta. Tampa. Tampa Bay. Buccaneers. Tampa. Tampa cool. I don't know. Who's on the Buccaneers? I don't even like know who's on the Buccaneers. They're such a bad team. You know, all same thing true. So who used to be on the Buccaneers? Maurice Jones true. Uh, he's not on the Buccaneers anymore. I don't think. But uh, I don't even think he's in the NFL. But he used to be a very good player. That's all same Drew. I should have named him Maurice. That'd be cool. Oh no, not another one. I don't want this. Stop. Oh, what's a pearl string? I think that's a new item. Is that a. Maybe it's just like we can sell it or does it actually do stuff? I guess we'll check. But first, we're gonna run away from this tentacle's pearl. We just caught a tentacle. We don't need another. Wow. Toucan is a uh, prize. Just. He's not even. He's not having it. He's just. Ah, get away, tentacle. We don't want you. We already have one. I'm getting dizzy. I need to eat and drink. I can't just keep playing Pokemon consecutively like this. Um, no, wrong. I'm in the wrong category. Let's see. Pearl string. Like we sold at a high price to shops. Cool. Let's um, look at our Pokemon here. We've got last little Pokemon. Like, let's look at all our stats. And, like, seriously. 
let's check this out. We got, um... Cool. He's the fastest by far. He's got 54 speed. Oh, even Toucanon has 52 speed. But, like, so it's only two less than cool. But that's just because Toucanon's stats are so much better. Like, it's still, like, speed's his lowest stat. But he's got all these other amazing stats. Look at that attack. But, uh, then cool is just, like, not even evolved at all. But he's still got 54 speed. But, like, shouldn't I have outsped those? Does this automatically go... I don't even know. I don't exactly know how Beat Blast works. Because so I feel like I would outspeed this. It's tentac I guess Tentacle is fast, I think. But then look at Grimer. It got 29 speed. And like, two-hand speed is going to be bad once like everyone else is fully evolved. It's still his worst stat. Grimer's got 29 speed. His worst stat by far. And Jockus is actually pretty fast. I don't know why I keep thinking Jockus is slow. Wow, okay. Jockus is actually fast. Wow, Jockus is actually his best stat. Never mind. Um, Otis is slow. This is his worst stat. But he's like an evolved Pokemon, so it's still like not terrible. Um, Mr. Miyashi is slow. And that's like a fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, that's. Oh, this is a. Uh, without having turned into my form. That's right. But I think my speed doesn't change when I change. So, yeah. Uh, who should we put first on our team? Let's put uh, Otis first on our team. Because, you know, water type Pokemon. Um, although, hopefully, Otis can run away from these guys. So, there's a tentacle. I don't know if he'll be able to. Let's start exploring around here. Let's battle this guy. Hello. This might be the last battle of the video, and then I'll end it. And then I'll continue the exploration here next time, and then we'll go to that uh, place that we were supposed to go to. I forget why. The Hano, the Hano Grand Resort. I think the 8th Foundation wanted us to go there, actually. That's right. And then we'll do that, and then we'll probably go to the next island, but I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe not. I have no idea, to be honest. Hopefully the next island is Ula Ula Island, because then we'll be able to go talk to Sina about um, the... What's it called? About the Zygarde. Maybe we'll even encounter Zygarde 10%, but I don't know. Maybe we need a core for that, too. Because I think we only have cells. I mean, it doesn't specify when we find one. But uh, it's got a nice wishy-washy here. Looks nice, powerful. But uh, we'll use Razor Leaf, and that should do a good amount of damage. There we go, Otis! Good job, and now it's going to probably die to its own recoil. Silly, silly wishy-washy. Even the critical hit. Not sure if the critical, if it would have died without the critical hit. Um, but whatever. Me as I am now, I can tolerate losing. The guy looks like looks like someone who's at peace with him as in our mind, despite the uh, physical like gesture he's making. I should go fast. Oh, hello, battle me. I feel like a lot of the encounter themes are the same. I haven't been paying too much attention to the encounter themes, but like, are they really that? Like, I feel like they're all like da na 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 na. Like, as in, like, past games, it's, like, usually all different encounter themes, but none of them have stuck out to me. I'm sure there probably are all different encounter themes, but they haven't stuck out to me at all if there are. I'm gonna pay close attention to that now. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to end the video. Well, that's fine. This person only has one Pokemon. So I'll end it here by taking out the side in one shot. That's right. Good job. I didn't even... I'll just... I didn't even need to just check. I knew that would happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna save the game here. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Sun coming soon all the time, and I will see you guys in the next one.